What's up, guys? Leslie Robbins here for Young Hollywood, about to introduce you to Nashville Hot Chicken here in LA's Chinatown. Welcome to Howlin' Rays. We are now with the owner and creator of Howlin' Rays. Johnny, this place has blown up. I almost feel bad being here when no one's here because there's normally a two to three hour wait to get your chicken. Yeah, I mean, it's been kind of toning down. We've been increasing the speed and the output. We're getting the handle on it, you know, so it's not, I wouldn't say it's about two, three hours, maybe an hour, hour and a half-ish, stuff like that. You actually update people on the wait time, which yeah. is kind of amazing if they don't want to come to Chinatown and wait for the two hours. So we started as a food truck and in really humble beginnings and, you know, no lines or anything like that, but we started building a, a clientele of people, you know, uh, that like the chicken and just started really uh, from our roots there. We picked Chinatown uh, to transition the food truck into a restaurant because it was right in between two of our busiest locations in the Arts District and Silver Lake. Chinatown's right in the middle of those and that's why we kind of opened up here. And you come from a culinary background. You've worked with Gordon Ramsay. You have a strong background in food and yet a little trip to Nashville introduced you to this hot chicken and now it's your go-to thing. You're, yeah. on, you're on a roll. A lot of French training. I was a butcher for Nobu Matsuhisa, which was like a lot of Japanese kind of fish butchery and stuff like that. It's, it's kind of odd, you know, but it's great because all that experience enabled me to do something like fried chicken at a level that you would find at like a fine dining restaurant or something like that. Dip in the milk. Milk? It looks pink. It, secret it, milk. It's secret milk. Wait, it's secret milk? It's secret, it's milk. secret milk. What's in the milk? We can't it's tell you. Flowery? Uh -huh. Take one skinny out. Is this a skinny? It's called a skinny. It's yeah. called a skinny? That's our nickname for it. Because it's go not skinny. With both hands. Okay. That's kind of awesome negative. Right there you go. And now we just have to throw it in the fryer. Yep. Make sure it splatters away from you. How do you do that? Don't throw it. Don't throw ah! it. How do you do it? Look, like that. Just slowly put it in. Slowly. Slowly drop it in. No! Yeah, drop really? it in. There, it is. Yeah. there you go. Ah! Good job. See, aren't you glad we did that? Whoa! Yeah. Let's talk about levels of heat. Yeah. With the chicken, there was five. Walk me through it. Five levels of heat. So country, that's that's basically country. No heat. Then you go to mild, then you got medium, and then you got hot, and then you got extra hot, and then you got howling, Ooh. and then and then there's one that's for people unlike yourself who really want to just get railed in Italian plus. That's not on the menu. Now, have you been railed? Have oh yeah, this is my recipe. So I've had to, to taste this a lot. Who's come here that you can mention, a famous face, say? We don't like to say too much about all the, because there's a lot and a lot of like NBA players and stuff like that, because we want them coming back and we respect their privacy on that. There's a, a portrait of John Mayer sitting on our sandwich and it's a water, watercolor thing, really great. Perfect. No, we, we're, we're always trying to, we're always trying to reach that level Staying of perfection. Staying humble, look yeah. at you, look yeah. at that. No, but we, if the one day you think you're the that's the day that you start going down. So you always want to stay hungry and humble. You know, you can always get better. Taste America, James Beard. Yeah. You are now associated with this huge event. Can awesome. you talk about that? How'd that happen? Um, yeah, they reached out and I, I was shocked. I was surprised. You know, normally it's like kind of fine dining stuff and to, to be a part of that, I was super excited and definitely want to, you know, put our best foot forward with that. We're constantly cooking wings throughout the whole event. So you get the aroma of fried chicken, you get the aroma of chicken being dropped into, into our oil, you know, and uh, so we're going to do a variety of these spices. So. You know, we will offer our, at these events, we like to do our hottest ones and we will provide gloves um, and because it's fun. You know, you got guys in suits, people like all fancy and then they get this and they think they can handle it. And then, you know, they ruin their suit because there's so much sweat and stuff, you know? Howlin' Rays has brought the heat to LA and it's only getting bigger. We want to keep it authentic. We didn't want to dumb it down for LA. We want to serve something that we stand behind. Thank you so much. Really yeah. good to meet you. Awesome, I'm eating right now. There so you go. Good.